first conversation with someone from ESPN uh, happened at a quarter after five in the morning and I was downstairs in my living room trying to be quiet and not wake up the whole town. When it was mentioned in the office, you know, ESPN3 is a possibility for us. Um, you know, my first question after the initial shock and awe and, and how great it is, you know, was, well, how does it work? Are we the ones producing it? Are we the talent, that whole deal? Our crew is and always has been made up of students. The production side here has really helped me as a communication major and in the future, because I'm able to put on a resume now that I've tech directed or directed ESPN games. It's always a goal if you're a broadcaster to get to, you know, the highest level. And the fact that we get a little piece of that here is really, really special. We want to make sure our students have a chance at a career afterwards and it was I think almost a no-brainer to say let's give our students a hands-on opportunity here and see if that can uh, give them a, a heads up or an, a leg up in the in the real world. Uh, that kind of blossomed into having uh, one of the legends of the game in Alphon coming and visiting our campus. Uh, he came with another gentleman, Dave, and they were doing site visits where they were actually going around and not only looking at the type of video we were producing, but looking at our equipment, existing equipment, looking at our facilities to make sure we had the right facilities. I think everybody was on board. It was just trying to get our arms around what it was needed because we were, we were the neophytes in the business and the business was a neophyte in, in many ways. So we had gotten the green light as far as that concerned. Uh, and then it was just presenting it to, to President Brown at the time and, and to some of the other VPs. The next challenge was getting the academic side to um, really embrace the whole process because I think that's really been the huge success of it. It's been a, a, a relationship between the academics and the athletic side and I just think that's critical. They came to me 18 months ago and we started just with three independent study students mm -hmm. who worked on the production crew. And from that I got a sense of what the possibilities were and I proposed a class for the fall of 2015 and that's what At the fall uh, open house I had a ton of students asking me about uh, both about the, the class and about our sports communication minor. Uh, and as soon as I mentioned the you know ESPN, their mm -hmm. eyes lit up and they got very excited. Here's a great opportunity to have a hands-on. You're going to be behind the camera, in front of the camera, and it's uh, it's not going to be somebody else uh, there. It's going to be you as a student, and uh, you'll be able to make the mistakes, but you'll also be able to do the perfection, and you'll be ready for your career. We have a lot of students out there who are committed to sports and committed to communication and I think they're very excited about coming to study here. Michelle Gonzalez, audio engineer. Jessica Cavanaugh, camera girl. Reed Zach, timeout coordinator. Joe Johnson, cameraman. Austin Zach, graphics, Indian Hills High School. Lexi Swat, audio engineer. Jackie Thompson, stage manager. Jen Hoffman, graphics. Zach Fable, technical director. Dan It's brought so much more exposure to not just our tremendous student athletes and coaches, um, but the university as a whole. You know, we get to showcase Monmouth University. Just the idea that we can take our fabulous product and put it out there for others to see is just a real plus. I wish this was around when I was a student, so I could have left Monmouth with on my resume and on my real ESPN3 experience. I think that's going to be huge for students when they move forward and go to apply for jobs. We have a ways to go. There's a lot of room for, for additional growth and additional improvement, but I know that we're all committed to doing it. I love the idea it's an academic and an athletic partnership, and I love the idea that we have both the students and the student-athletes involved. It's just really an exciting time.